Moving on, 20 people were arrested as curfew and shoot at sight orders remained in force at Saranpur. Three were killed and 19 others, including policemen injured in the clashes as mobs indulged in arson, after which curfew was imposed and shoot at sight ordered yesterday. Prohibitory orders under Section 144 of CRPC have been invoked in the district and the curfew was clamped in six areas. Additional forces including, uh, included uh, PAC, CRPF, RAF and ITBP have been deployed in the troubled areas. Trouble began when members of one community started construction work at the site in Kutubshir area in the wee hours yesterday, which was objected to by the other group. Both the sides indulged in heavy brick batting, arson and open fire, and there were reports of several shops being gutted in the clash. This is uh, the kind of gelato that's being witnessed in Saranpur. We understand uh, that uh, there is uh, a curfew in place now, but uh, already, despite the fact that 20 people have been arrested with regards to the clashes that killed three people, things are still very much tense. There are a lot of eyebrows being raised over the UP government and the fact that they have been unable to go ahead and curb the communal tension that has been present in Uttar Pradesh over the last two years. It's been two days since the Sanya Mirza Rao emerged, but now Parliamentary Affairs Minister Venkaya Naidu has come out in the open and backed the controversial BJP leader Lakshman. Venkaya Naidu called Sanya Mirza a good player, following which he stated that BJP leader Lakshman has not called her the daughter-in-law of Pakistan. He denied all allegations and supported Lakshman even after his bizarre comments. Despite the fact that there is impending proof that uh, uh, Lakshman had gone ahead and stated that Sanya Mirza is the daughter-in-law of Pakistan, Venkaya Naidu has squarely gone ahead and shrugged off the blame, stating that Lakshman did not make any such statement. He also went on to praise Sanya Mirza, saying that she is a good player. But what was highlighted was the fact that the Parliamentary Affairs Minister, such a veteran leader of the BJP, went on to back Lakshman, not saying that what he said was correct, but simply saying that he never had made such a statement. And, uh, well, I remember this is with regards to the controversy that broke out after Sanya Mirza was announced as the brand ambassador of Telangana by uh, KCR. Uh, soon after, BJP sprung up and uh, MP Lakshman went on to make a, a very, very controversial statement where he called Sanya Mirza the daughter-in-law of Pakistan. My colleague Harish now joins us uh, with more details on this. Harish, if you could take us through exactly what uh, Venkaya Naidu has said. Well, uh, remember after that comment by uh, the BJP leader Lakshman in Andhra Pradesh, there was a huge uproar over uh, his comment by various parties, by various sports person. In fact, uh, we had seen Sanya Mirza herself coming out and uh, clarifying in the open that uh, nobody can question her Indianness, and she also gave examples of how uh, her grandfather and uh, her great grandfather have served in Hyderabad in various capacities, whether as uh, civil servants or otherwise as uh, engineers. And she also said that uh, she was just born in Maharashtra because uh, her mother had to go there for uh, a better medical attention during pregnancy. Apart from that, uh, she has been in Hyderabad for a very long time. So she, she said that uh, nobody can question her. After that, somewhere you expected the center or uh, at least the ruling BJP to come out and clarify. And uh, at this juncture, you see Venkaya Naidu stating that uh, nobody can question Sanya Mirza as a player, her contribution as a player. But he uh, at the same time, he also mentions that uh, the debate was over who can represent Telangana better, who represents Telangana better, the, who can be the face of Telangana and a brand ambassador. He says the debate was on that uh, particular issue not uh, anything on uh, Sanya or her personal friend. Definitely, Sanya, he also tried to clearly stay away from that comment that was made by his own party men that uh, she is the daughter-in-law of uh, a daughter of Pakistan. Uh, 
Achita. Right, uh, Harish. It's definitely bizarre uh, that Venkai Naidu has gone on to defend uh, Lakshman. In fact, the BJP has been facing quite a harsh time because of what the BJP MP had stated. And it may look as if they're trying to wash their hands of this entire controversy. Definitely, it's a, it's a controversy that's not required in the first place as well. And the BJP, which has just come to power at the center and which wants to make all the right noises, would not like to see itself as... Uh, taking on someone who has represented in India and uh, at the Commonwealth Games and Davis Cup and several other multinational events and uh, uh, face the uproar of both uh, the community as well as the larger sports fraternity. So definitely uh, somewhere uh, you see Venka and I are playing it safe over there, Akshita. Right, uh, Harish, thank you so much for joining us with uh, all those details. Uh, quite clearly, there, uh, Venka and Ido going ahead and standing up for Lakshman, stating that maybe he did not state in quite simple terms that Sonia Mirza was the daughter in law of Pakistan, only that uh, maybe she is not the best option to go ahead and represent Telangana to be the brand ambassador of Telangana. Let's listen to exactly what uh, the Parliamentary Affairs Minister had to say. Sanya Mirza is a great tennis player. That nobody has nobody has questioned it, including my colleague. Brand ambassador, whatever bit call, whatever priority, whatever anything, what they ask for, that's also done. Our issue now, Sanya can work hard. Now, now, what if I need to work hard? That's also done. As a player, she is recognized. Whatever ambassador, whatever commitment they come with, whatever Telangana represent just now, Baga, whatever Telangana ki symbol ka pani just now.